Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you NumPad for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It's an application that basically allows you to have a number pad next to your keyboard per se if you've got, say, an Apple keyboard that doesn't actually have a NumPad. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of looking over at the camera to make sure this is lined up correctly. But uh, this is NumPad for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Really neat little application, and I guess the iPad if you really want to get specific with it, but it does work for the iPad. It just ran compatible in compatibility mode. So this is the application, this is NumPad, and as you can see I've got it set to the exact same kind of look as the Apple wireless keyboard. So it's kind of white look, just kind of just like that, and I can swipe to the right here and I can actually see a number pad. So I've got text edit open here and I can actually hit 5, 6, you know, and I can just start typing and it works. I hit backspace up top here and I'll back up obviously. Works pretty simple. Makes kind of a, the clicking sound like the iPhone does if you're typing on a keyboard. And, uh, you know, it works pretty much like that. And I'm pretty sure you kind of got the gist of it. You type in what numbers you want to. I can hit times plus, you know, whatever you want to hit. And it kind of, and it works. I can back up here. I can swipe to the left and I can actually see a um, uh, arrow keys and, you know, some other keys here. You know, backspace, page up, page down, things like that. But you would get if you had an actual Apple Wired keyboard, which actually has the number pad. So if I swipe to the right here, you know, you kind of got that look. And if you go to the top right of this application, you get your settings. And as you can see, I have my iMac selected here. And what's awesome with this application is there are no applications to install when you get this application. What you basically do is you go into your Mac's uh, system preferences. You go into uh, net or it's not network, excuse me. You go into uh, sharing, I think, and screen sharing. Basically, you turn this on. So you um, basically turn this on. I forget what thought. Uh, check it on. You know, you set that all up. And basically, that's the way it works, and that's it. You can get to set a VNC password. That's all you got to do. You type that password into NumPad, and it works automatically. There's no software to install. It's a bit more complicated. It'd be easier, I think, with software for some. But if you are if you already know how to do this like me, it was really simple and easy to set up. Let's look at some of the settings here. Here's the settings. And you can set up actually what the delete key does, what the dec you know, what decimal separators to use. Uh, you want keyboard style. So I can go in here and I can say, okay, I don't want the white keyboard. I want the silver one. And I can back all the way up here and hit done. And now I've got this old school silver keyboard, which used to be on the MacBook Pros. So I can go up in here and change it again, keyboard style. I can say I want black instead. Hit done. And this is kind of a new look, and this is the look that's on the MacBooks and things. So that's what it looks like with the MacBook, if you had a MacBook. Now I can go in here. Actually, a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, so not a MacBook. And I can say I want the uh, the uh, the simple final entry, I think that's what that said. My screen's really dim, and you get this symbol entry keyboard, which really sucks. It, 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 it doesn't even really work. And here's the bug, if you look at my screen here real quick, here's the actual bug that I've been getting. If you actually hit a key on accident like I just did, and for some reason, it's only when I do it on accident, but here's my hands, and it's going to continue to type that number, symbol, or whatever I stick in there until I do something. Either I, Sometimes it actually requires me to quit the application, but recently, I've been able just to hit backspace, and it'll actually backspace it all the way for me. Which is really annoying if you're, you know, if you're someone, obviously, that's annoying in general. So, if we back up, and we'll go in here, and we'll check out some more of the settings. And uh, there's a bunch of different, you know, layouts and settings. You can do total symbolists. So, if you set that up, get done, you, can, you actually have a few pages worth of symbols you can swipe through. So I can actually swipe through a page and a bunch of symbols here, and uh, it's pretty neat. Not really that useful considering it won't actually type the symbols, and it's stuck on typing plus again. But it doesn't actually type the symbols; it types a number instead of the symbols. So take that for what you want to. And uh, as you can see here, I'm hitting backspace, which or, or what would be backspace, and backspace is when it's not actually getting rid of the number, which is really annoying. And it's continuing to do that, hit backspace, and it's continuing to do that. So now I'm going to have to actually close the application and go back into it to actually have it stop that. And it's extremely annoying, and uh, 
the developer seriously needs to fix this. I don't really know how I can recommend this app while it does that. But, uh, and as you can see, it's off again. But, uh, I gotta stop it this way for now. But anyway, I think you get the idea. It's a really neat application in theory. One thing I have had issues with is, uh, as you know, the iPhone 3GS has a rounded back. So if you push down on it, as you can see, it's gonna swerve around the table, and that's kind of annoying. And, uh, another thing I've noticed is, you know, which is a touch screen in general, but one thing I have noticed is you can actually feel the keys like an accountant or someone would. So you've actually got to look down at your keypad to see where you're typing, and I don't think it would be very useful in the long run. But it's an application worth checking out if you really miss the number pad, or if you've got like an ARC keyboard and you really want a uh, keypad or, or a, excuse me, um, an arrow keys, you can actually have that because the ARC, the Microsoft ARC keyboard does not have arrow keys. But, because uh, this is Mac and PC, by the way. This is just Mac, it's not just PC. It's it's for anything that's got a VNC client. So, if you can set up a VNC client, you can do that. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to enter my giveaway if you subscribe. I will, once I hit 250 subscribers, I will give one of my lucky subscribers a $10 iTunes gift card. Spend it any way they choose. So, uh, I'll, I'll see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.